All right, guys, so we are going to continue on this path of talking about multimodal models, which are things that we can load up in Lama.cpp to, um, to look at images and um, describe them for us. Of course, this can be used in any sort of, uh, you know, however your mind can think about it. You could uh, be creating a game, and in the game, it describes an image that it describes to the user. Or uh, you could use it when you're trying to... Um, make your own image you take an existing image and you want to uh, prompt it into your image generating software and then create something similar or you want to do some forensic stuff and you want to look and say what are they holding you're not quite sure maybe the machine will actually know um, what that is and so in our past video we talked about a model called bunny which is just oh, it's awesome so go check that out um, but there are times where some of these models, all of these things, they have blocks in them. They have sensors in them that sometimes they don't want to answer uh, your questions, okay? So typically the, the big things that they're looking for is, uh, you know, violence, um, uh, nudity, um, uh, you, know, you know, whatever they call hate, um, that kind of stuff. So um, what these models can do, though, is is we want to find the uncensored ones so that we can actually use them in our applications what if you're making a horror video game and none of these bots will work because it won't uh won't allow you to to have i can't have that conversation okay well so wes craven is a legit uh movie maker so i guess you're not going to speak with him or stephen king or, or or any of this kind of stuff i guess maybe you know saving private ryan we can't have a conversation so you see the thing is it, it People hear uncensored, they think nude, okay? And, and let's be honest, most people, they want to look at nude stuff. But the bigger picture is that you need stuff to do what you want to do with it. And if, listen, if you want to do nude stuff, that's on you. That's not me uh, do, uh, saying that you shouldn't, and society shouldn't really be able to do that either. So that's where uncensored, unbiased things come uh, in to importance. So anyways, really quickly, we're going to... Um, look at a, another model over here that is not the greatest model in the world it's a bit resource intensive but it will give you the results that you want whereas some of these other ones um, if you throw it in they just won't give you an answer okay so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pop on over to the internet here and we want to do a quick search for share gpt okay and we'll put 4v and then we want to put gguf because that's the model we're going to need and uh, we want to look for the one that's from this guy, Nako Don. Okay, we're going to click that. Um, ignore this down here. What we're going to do is click over to our files and versions, and we're just going to download these two to a folder. Okay, and then later we're going to come back to those because we need to um, need to get their paths. Okay, so um, now. Over here, what we could do is click on this Malvo card. This is how you run it, but this is using something called server.exe, which we're not going to be compiled to use right now. Um, pretty much what we could do is you could copy this and add to the end of it the image file, okay? Um, and you have to change the front. But instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to pop on over to my blog. So that's cognibuild.ai or my website. And then from there, we'll kick a blog. And we're going to look for this one, Uncensored Multimodal. Okay, so you can read that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this. Okay, now, what we want to do with this is, oh, can you even see that? Oh, you can't even see that. Sorry about that. Makes me wonder how much of this you were seeing before. Okay, so we're just going to copy that. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop on over to um, a notepad. And we're just going to paste this in here, and you can see this one is using llama .lava or dash lava dash cli, which means that um, uh, this is for newly compiled versions of llama.cpp. If you have an older version that doesn't uh, require the new naming convention, then you'll be able to just use. You can get rid of. You can actually get rid of this and run it as this. Now notice you're going to have to, again, copy in the paths to those things that you downloaded, okay? And you're going to have to put in a copy for a JPEG or whatever that you want it to look at. Now, um, I've gone ahead and already set this up, so we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this. 
and then we're going to go over to our terminal okay and we are going to paste this into here okay now before we go this, you're going to laugh at me because after my big tirade about uncensored nudie stuff what we do want to test it out to see if it's going to give us something that the others wouldn't so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this picture of this gal in a swimsuit okay and we're going to see if it will give us the results i'm telling you, the other ones typically they'll just respond with nothing okay because they put blocks into them so we're going to hit enter and let's see what it comes up with in this image a woman is a central figure standing on a sandy beach positioned with her left hand on her hip and her right hand rests on her head both of which suggest relaxed picture she's dressed in a purple swimsuit okay and a plunging neckline so there you go see it it doesn't mean that this thing uh is pervy because it's uncensored it just means that it's willing to have the conversation so this model uh it didn't be like oh man she is like so hot and i'd like to do this and blah. And in fact if you try to prompt it that way it's still not going to talk to you like that it's going to describe it in a professional manner but it's going to describe it okay so like the bunny model if you threw this into there bunny model very likely wouldn't respond at all okay um but this one will so this isn't your greatest model in the world okay it's not like it's the uh it's not the bee's knees in the sense of quality but it is the bee's knees in the sense that um it works and it does what you want it to do so figure out how you want to use this um just like anything else you can ask a lot of questions grab the um grab the initial code here Highlight that, throw it into GPT, and ask GPT to give you a Gradio loop for this and, and put it into a thing so you can just sit there and play with it. Okay, so the link to this model is down below. If you appreciate this video, please like and share and all that good stuff because it helps us all. Okay, so anyway, you have a good one. We'll catch you on your other side.